What's up everybody? Welcome back. What is up? And a uh, little bit of a different start today's video looking at the sim rig as you guys can see my energy wheel a little bit of a holographic love on it. So today I wanted to talk about this handbrake right here the Fanatec handbrake. So if you guys do remember my old setup had the energy innovations handbrake handle on it without the button removed obviously because that's why there's a hole through it the button is uh on the side over here so you guys remember i had that on my old rig and uh the Fanatec has this fancy foam well i did find out that this foam actually comes off a lot easier than i thought so all i really had to do was twist and as you can see the foam just started coming up and then I kind of went from the bottom and just pulled up on it. I kind of used two hands, so I'm trying to do this with one hand right now. And it is somewhat working. But all I had to do was pull the foam off, and it revealed the uh, bottom part. So I'm going to continue pulling this off. So I pulled it off, and it reveals a plastic top on both sides of the handle. And it just so happens to be the perfect size for... The energy handbrake handle to just drop right on to it and all you do is tighten the four set screws on the sides or the three and uh, that's actually how I put it on so the foam piece comes off very easily just by pulling it straight off while well, twisting it a little bit and pulling it from the bottom I used both hands and just kind of pulled it up off the bottom and it came right off it wasn't glued on or anything it's a very tight fit I tried to put it back on and it's uh, extremely tight but you can get it back on so that's how I now have the energy handle on the handbrake the energy wheel, the energy seat. Now all I need is uh, an energy shift knob and uh, maybe uh, some uh, energy pedals and uh, we'll be full energy set up on the rig. So we're gonna get into Horizon 4, do a little fun with Horizon 4 here today with the sim rig, but just wanted to show a little quick clip on how to get that off on the Fanatec and uh, all the energy goodies. And then more energy goodies over here. And then Fanatec stuff, and then uh, a Porg, Porg for good measure, and Joker and Harley Quinn. So we're gonna hop into the game. As I got my reflection in my uh, dashboard, so let's uh, let's get to this. Ooh. All right, now that we're back on the game cam. We are in one of my higher end, or highest end, I guess, drift car that I've ever built here in Horizon 4, and that is uh, oh, that grinding gear, that uh beautiful roof torpedoed Audi R8 and we're gonna take a rip forward up the mountain probably most expensive drift car that I've ever built for car wise okay so apparently it does not like third gear too much feedback is super light in this car oh and we lost it I feel like the feedback is super light on the car and it might have to do something with uh, the way the suspension is set up but it's really light but we are still getting it on that high end just, just ripping through those high uh, RPMs in this car so I'm sure a lot of people have built one of these into a drift car because I've seen these before, but I never did. So we did convert it to a real drive and this thing is definitely whoop, getting it. That throttle there. No handbrake action there to go this way. We could be using the paddle shifters like the actual car, but maybe we wouldn't have a clutch. Just screaming at like 9,400 RPMs. Ooh. Trying to keep the clutch kicks going. Oh, that was too much. So, I have been having fun getting back into Horizon 4 and, uh, sliding in the mountains and the streets but I feel like this car could be a lot better but it's still not bad for what it is I mean 
It's an Audi with a giant torpedo on its roof. And we just ripped the mountain section. So let's uh, see what other cars we can uh, crack ourselves back into and just be. So we have decided to bring out an old faithful car that I used to love drifting. The really wide tired Mustang. I've apparently lost all telemetry on my dash for some reason. So uh, we're gonna be doing this with just the feel, no telemetry. Don't know what's going on. I mean, I could go in first person, really get the feel and see my speed and everything, but we don't need it. We can drift this thing by sound and feel alone. This car has so much forward bite and so much rear bite. It just kind of goes where I want it to go. If you guys remember a while back, this was probably my favorite and best drift car when it came out. And I feel like this thing still gets down with those very wide rear tires. Oh, we're still good. a little short but we managed to save it all the downhill slides with this car there we go had to slow that down but we're good Doing this all in fourth gear though. That was a major chuck on that guardrail. So, not a bad run. So I feel like we should switch it up and do some first person. Now we can actually see our speedometer and everything, but I feel like we don't need it. We are in fourth. We're just going to send it uphill. Didn't anticipate the wet roads. Trying to be smooth with it. I feel like fourth is not the right gear. We're going uphill. There we go. Flip right on the guardrail. Still sideways though. Not the best run uphill I've ever done, but a little able to manage that bump pretty well though. Do a little flick back this way. Get back. It's gonna downshift, but I feel like we can. Nope, I had downshift there. Shift in the fourth. A little uh, back on the hill action here in Forza Horizon 4 with our energy equipped rig. in an old faithful drift car. So I know I'm definitely better drifting in third person, but we're gonna put this to the test because we had over 300,000 going downhill in third. So we can give us a test and stay in first and go down the hill in first person and see what we can come up with. I know it's not gonna be as good because I'm still trying to get used to the first person head movement in this game. Oh, game glitch. That kind of screwed me up, but we're just going to keep going. Kind of threw me offline, but... 
we will try and manage to make this somewhat reasonable. That was a very uh, slow roll through there. You can definitely tell my drifting is way better in third person than first. But when I was playing a Seto with the Oculus, that was so much easier because I was looking where I wanted to look. But we are going to finish this downhill runoff. Just kind of feathering the throttle. Use way more handbrake than I need to be. This car grips up if you get off throttle, but we are still good. Don't lose it. So, definitely not the best downhill run at all. I feel like I'm just, I throw it way too hard because I'm waiting for it to look where I want it to look. Whew. Racing though in first person, way faster. Drifting, still got to get used to it. Not too bad. So I think we're going to switch it up to third person. Go back uphill, see what kind of uphill we can get. In the rain, in the dark, in a Mustang. Hopefully we don't do Mustang things. We almost did right there. Just clutch kick it up. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just so much smoother this way because I think I can see the angle of the car better. So, we're going to finish this uphill run. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. There we go, right on its side. Oh, geez, that man just came flying out of nowhere. I don't know why, but this is still my favorite car. Too bad this car is not in Forza. This, or Forza 7, this specific version, because I probably would try and build this into ESDA if I can. I could probably run a 5C or the drift spec Mustangs if I wanted to, but I like my Corvette a little bit too much. There we go. Full on throttle. We're going to try this without too much handbrake. Just use a brake to transition us. We'll tap of the brake there. We need to pull the handbrake there. Just a quick little pull. And we're good. That was that was hard lock. Wow. Way better uphill in third person. Over 300k going uphill. I think we might have beaten our downhill score going uphill. Not our overall record, which is 460. But, so like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, geez. This is very tricky in the rain. I just don't want to stop drifting because it's so much fun. All right, we're done. We crashed. We did Mustang things. 